Hi guys, I hope that you're all really well. Salut tout le monde, j'espère que vous allez tous très bien. So, excuse me for speaking with my mouth. Well, alors, excuse-moi de parler avec la bouche pleine, but... Mm. Bon appétit. So, I'm eating a load of asparagus with some salmon. Alors, moi, je mange beaucoup d'asperges avec du saumon. And it is a present. Alors, c'est un cadeau from Lizzie. Lizzie is a student I work with on a Tuesday. Alors, Lizzie, c'est une étudiante avec qui je travaille. Mardi. And she gave me a load of asparagus. Elle m'a offert un tas d'asperges. And the reason I thought that we would talk about this is because, as you probably well know, after eating asparagus, um, your urine smells quite strongly. Alors, ap après avoir mangé, enfin, des asperges, l'urine sent assez fort. And I want to talk about the verb sentir. So, when you say it smells of something, in French, you don't use the de. So, that smells of bread, ça sent le pain. You know, you can smell bread, ça sent le pain. But also, if something smells of bread, mm, ça sent le pain. In a good or a bad way, that smells of fish, ça sent le poisson. You know, the English-speaking brain is like, well, it smells you know, one can smell the fish, that th there actually is, or that smells fishy, that smells of, of fish. But we just don't need the deux. So, ça sent le poisson. It smells like shit. Ça sent le caca. Whatever. You know, whether you're being eaten, it, it smells of roses. Ça sent, mm, ça sent la rose. Whatever you're saying, good or bad, we don't need the deux. Okay? So, it smells of asparagus. Ça sent l'asperge. La, Okay, <laughs> which it will do, um, uh, because I'm told the reason you can smell it so quickly as well afterwards is because it's very diuretic. Okay, good. So I'm going to enjoy the rest of my lunch. And remember, when you say something smells of something, you don't need the off. All right. Take care, guys.